Ateneo versus uh, UST live from the Big Dome. We're just about to begin this showdown of undefeated teams. Uh, anong inaaral mo early partner no? uh, from, from these two teams? Let's start with the defending champion. Well, number one, how they will uh, match up against, uh, of course, yung fiery start ng UST. How will they defend the perimeter scorers of the Brawling Tigers? While on the flip side for UST, what they will try to establish offensively against uh, Ateneo because so far they have uh, been able to score 95 points in their first match, 85 against UP. And this is uh, nearly a total of uh, 18 points better than their 72 point scoring average in season 81. Terry Ravenna against uh, Renzo Subido. Shot clock down to five for the Blue Eagles. Outside to uh, Magneto. Magneto on the move sets up uh, William Navarro for three. In and out. Rebound for CJ Cancino. There with Concepcion to Cancino. Cancino, rather um, mild start uh, at the start of uh, season 82. Chabio inside, Chabio off the glass. Solomon Chabio! Yamaha Mion, number one move for Chabio. We talked about the backcourt excellence of Subido and Mark Nonoy and the effectivity of CJ Cancino in his uh, comeback for USD. But we cannot overlook that uh, Solomon Chabio is instrumental in this 2-0 start for USD. Offensive rebound for well, William Navarro. Navarro. And, uh, well, offensive rebounding was uh, something that Ateneo used uh, to win over uh, the Green Archers. 27 offensive rebounds all in all. And I believe 19 second chance points for Ateneo. Versus, or rather, 24 second chance points versus De La Salle. Subido to uh, Zaki Wang for three. Yes, sir! Zach Wang Zach was Wang also key three. for UST in their win versus UP. Matchup problem against the three guard combination of coach Bo Perasol. Zach Wang nails the first three pointer for UST during the half. It, it will not be the last. Oh, they certainly. Love taking and making three point shots. And it's a put back for uh, Anch Kwame. Not a defensive stop until they secure the defensive rebound. Uh, first point of attack has been defended, but the offensive putback has been given up by USD in the last two possessions for Ateneo. Subido with the drive. Chabio turns around for two. Back-to-back -back baskets here coming from Chabio. Nice matchup against last year's best first-year player, Anj Kwame. USD protecting a three-point lead. Once again, shooting well to start the ball game versus the Blue Eagles. Are you expecting a high-scoring game? If you face Ateneo, that's really hard to happen. But that's what USD, USD wants. If is able yeah. to impose their offensive uh, arsenal, then pwede pumalo pataas yung scoring. Welcome back, Adrian Wong, but he misses the three. Did not play against the Green Archers. And again, the third defensive down, rebound eight, happening here for the Blue Eagles. Multiple possessions will always hurt. You have to defend another set of 14 and then try to contain your defensive coverage. Checking out our McDonald's, it's a replay as Angela Kwame gets the rebound and the put back. Back to live action. Kwame at the post and he is pushed. If you think that USD has only relied on their offense to win its first two games, that does not hold water. Defensively, they're also tougher. Look at the way they have covered their individual assignments, especially Subido. And uh, look at how uh, Chabi has protected the paint for USD. Shot clock down to six. Wong to Kwame. Kwame against Chabi Kwame out of control. 30 Ravenna fires and scores. That's the three. Ravenna, and that's the three. first three-point basket for 30 here in season 82. Tied at seven. Crossing the seven-minute mark of the opening period, a dangerous entry pass. And a steal completed by uh, Matt Nieto. 30 Ravenna fires again. Another three. That's good. 30 Ravenna, three. Jollibee, 100% amazing move for uh, 30 Ravenna with back-to-back -back three pointers. And that uh, could be bad news for USD. 30 only scored six points versus, versus De La Salle in over 20 minutes. With barely four minutes gone here in the first quarter, 30 has rifled two three-point baskets 
And this is a 6-0 counter run for Ateneo to build a three-point lead. And there's an offensive foul against uh, Renzo Zubido. Here's that three-point shot by uh, 30 Ravenna. Same spot. I believe 30 is zero out of eight prior to today's game. We'll double check that uh, particular stat in terms of three-point uh, attempts. Meantime, uh, William Navarro hands it over to Matt Nieto. It's a three-point lead for the Blue Eagles. Wong goes right. Adrian Wong all the way. Too strong. Sherwin Concepcion flips it over to Renzo Zubido. Zubido. Good pass to CJ Cancino, and Cancino will take two. Renzo Zubido was USD's leading scorer last year. Sixth eventually among the top ten scorers. This year he's playing a much different role. The best passer right now for USD is more of a quarterback. Very happy finding his teammates. And this is the reason that their offense is really humming and at, at a uh, team high. Last year, 72 points per game. This year, in the first two matches, nearly 90. CJ Cancino was the third leading scorer for USD in Season 81, looking to reprise his excellence in the previous year. So a split on the line for CJ Cancino. That will trim down Ateneo's lead to two. Six minutes remaining in the opening quarter. Nieto, Wong. Wong has nowhere to go. William Navarro, quick pass to uh, Kwame, and Three Kwame will, uh, is caught in a no parking zone, and the ball will go back to the Growling Tigers. Lorenzo Subido, as uh, Coach Ronnie mentioned, very happy playing quarterback. Right. But if needed, he will take clutch shots. Wang, a high looper three, another three-point shot three. for Zach Wang. Two three-point baskets for 30 Ravenna, a couple of three, po three balls for Zach Wang. That has been the duel from the long court so far here in the first quarter. USD back on top by one. As Matt Nieto overshoots, Sherwin Concepcion with the rebound. Cancino is on the move, goes behind the back, and uh, blocking foul on Matt Nieto. And against USD, that is something that you always have to watch out. The ability of the Tigers to push that ball as quick as possible from the wings with the likes of Mark Nonoy, Francis Obid, and of course CJ Cancino piloting the open court game of the Growling Tigers. Chabio, good pass and a good finish. And that will open up a three point lead for the Growling Tigers after that PS Bankable assist. Parang PS Bank personal loan na maasan, apply online, no collateral. Another turnover here against uh, Ateneo. Well, normally, we talk about uh, last year's numbers. Ateneo is the top team in terms of perimeter points allowed and three-point field goals allowed. But so far, USD having their way here in the first quarter so far.
Oh, tama, tama. We were talking about Renzo Solito's evolve, evolving role right. for the Growling Tigers. Playing his final year, his evolution from a primary scorer to a quarterback has taken this team to a perfect start. As we hit the Gatorade hydration checkpoint. And uh, Renzo Bido has uh, really blossomed into an Aldin Ayo prototype point guard. And that has uh, spelled wonders for USD so far. And one big improvement on his part as well is his defensive game, his defensive tenacity. Kanina bantay niya si, si 30. Ayun naman, itong si Andrade was still bigger and heavier than he is. BJ Andrade coming off the bench, finding 30 Ravenna for three. Not that time, another rebound for Chabio. Better closeout for USD, disallowing 30 from getting a longer open look. 14 to shoot for the Growling Tigers. They have the edge in assists. They have the edge in the scoreboard. And that will be a foul against 30 Ravenna. I believe against uh, UE, USD had a blistering start, setting the pace, dominating the scoring. Against UP, UP had a uh, faster start. But after overtaking UP in the midpoint of the first quarter, UP never left. By the way, 30 Rivera just picked up his second personal foul. That's the concern, but you know, for the Blue Eagles, next man up mentality. Something that they've used in their uh, defense of the title that they won two years ago. That's a nice pass by uh, Subido, but uh, Chabio couldn't finish with the slam. Mike Nieto takes the place of 30 Ravenna on the floor. So the Nieto brothers are on the court with Navarro, Kwame, and Atrade. And a steal by the Growling Tigers. Right. I believe this is a team that's averaging seven steals per contest. Sabido in and out, rebound Kwame, Mark Nonoy, by the way, and Renz Abando are both in the ball game. It'll be Mark Nonoy against uh, Matt Nieto. That's a great matchup. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Speed against experience. And very good defensive players as well. Three-pointer, no go for William Navarro. That chalk up another rebound for Chabio. Mark Ooh. Nonoy steps on the gas. Mark Nonoy won't go all the way. Tumahina, bumali pa. Meantime, uh, Matt Nieto will miss. This is exactly the kind of pace that USD loves. We're going up and down the floor. Abando will lose the basketball. Matt Nieto on the move over to William Navarro. Emergency pass. Matt Nieto for three. Yes, sir. Matt Nieto three. Man alive uh, vision player, uh, Matt Nieto. Really had his eyes on the target. And ties the ball game at 13. And that's the ball stop that Ateneo aims to impose on USD swing attackers. The primary offense is something you have to take away or contain for USD. Although Coach Aldinari was quite unhappy with the non-call on that last takeaway by Nieto, which resulted eventually on a five-point swing in favor of Ateneo. And we have another deadlock, I believe. The third one here in the first quarter between USD and the Blue Eagles. So it's 13 all with 2 and 51 remaining in the opening period. Uh, Gian Mamoyak, one of the heroes uh, in that Ateneo win over the Green Archers, now joins this ball game. And that will be a five second violation on Brent Paraiso. Two straight turnovers for one of the best second unit uh, combinations. This is the second unit that helped USD take the lead away from the Fighting Maroons. Open. And uh, Matt Nieto will not, will not have any problems taking and making an open look from the three ball. Approaching the last two minutes of the opening quarter, Mamoyak against Chabio, and Chabio says, what are you doing? <laughs> not the right idea, but Chabio was extremely active and feisty, showing us why USD is also one of the top defensive teams right now after three play dates. Aira Batallier also in the ball game for the Growling Tigers. Meantime, Matt Nieto, they have eight seconds to work with. Over to brother Mike. Mike Nieto, back to Matt. Shot clock down to two. Nieto inside, top shot. Excellent defense coming from Mark Nonoy. Cutting the angle, anticipating the half turn and forcing Matt Nieto to commit a turnover. And this is the arsenal in the backcourt artillery for Ateneo. No Jolo Mendoza this year, but they have SJ Belangiel, Tyler Tio to alternate at that spot and match up against uh, a super talent 
for UST and Mark Nonoy. Brent Paraiso brings in experience to this team, but that's a turnover. BJ Andrade wow. over to Mike Nieto for two. Oh, Three turnovers in the last four possessions for UST. Ateneo once again in the driver's seat. Ateneo playing the passing lanes. is allowing any ball reversal for continuity of UST's offense. That continuity is what I'm talking about. This will be a total of four turnovers in five possessions for the second unit of UST. Started with that ball off coming from uh, Mike Nieto, or Matt Nieto. So offensive foul on Dave Ando. Check that, on Brent Paraiso who did an excellent job defending Richie Rivero, his former teammate in La Salle in their last matchup. Oops. Amuyak all alone. A second straight BJ nice pass Amuyang. coming from BJ Andrade. Making things happen with his defense and his unselfish ways. Ateneo up by four versus the Browning Tigers. Uh, Jian Mabuya really known to make things happen on defense. And then when he does it on offense, it feels like a bonus. Oh, of course. Two points versus Adamson in seven minutes. No field goals, only two free throws. But against LaSalle, he was at his best in the last four and 41, scoring eight of Ateneo's 15 points in the fourth quarter. And uh, eventually, that was enough to defuse the main uh, game uh, uprising coming from the De La Salle Green Archers. Well, story of the first quarter so far is this uh, nice run coming from Ateneo's second unit, forcing four turnovers the last five possessions. Take that. I'm at four turnovers in the last five possessions, and uh, they've scored seven straight points so, to uh, erase a three-point deficit at 13-10 and build a four-point lead. Pero merong... Uh, there is a foul against oh. Mike Nieto in the backcourt. Both teams are already in the penalty. That's why Mr. Brent Paraiso is on the free throw line. Former Browning Tiger, Marvin Lee. Right, the second leading scorer for USD last year. That was the backcourt combination between uh, Subido and Marvin Lee that wrecked havoc. Doing the three-point shooting defense to mga kalaban. Pinababa pa lang sa half-court, na ititira na. Rowling Tigers down by four points. Mark Nonoy for three. Oh, almost a putback slam by Red Zabando. Almost but not quite. Mamuya. Belanghel for three. Yes, sir. Three. And this will be four three point baskets for the Blue Eagles. Uh, you know, Mr. Abando, please keep on trying. <laughs> Sige lang, go lang. <laughs> Atene only shot five of 32 from the three ball versus LaSalle today. Coming out with better accuracy from the long court. Two three-point baskets by Thirdy Ravenna, one by Belanghel, and one, of course, coming from Mike or Matt Nieto. In time, Belanghel fires again. Not that time. Long rebound picked up by Brent Paraiso. My gosh, I'm still thinking about that putback slam attempt by Ren Sabando. Gusto kong sabihin wow. kanina, saan nang galing yun? Oh my gosh. In time, Paraiso. He's in trouble. Abando for three. Good closeout coming from Andrade. 
creating impact plays both on defense and on offense as well. Time winding down in the uh, opening quarter. Belangel will call out the play. Top of the key. SJ Belangel. Isaac go for three. Yes, sir. Rattles Isaac in. PS Bankable assist from SJ Balanghel to Isaac Go. Parang PS Bank, personal loan na maasad. Apply online, no collateral. Anytime you play against Ateneo, especially against Go, you have to be worried of the ticket pop uh, option. Doon sa high ball screen. This is a 13-0 uh, run for Ateneo. Dating back to the time that uh, USD was still ahead at 13. They're about a 4-minute mark. Or 5-minute mark. So meron ng 4-minute or 5-minute score this spell. Ang uh, USD because of Ateneo's tenacious defense. And Extra pass. Shooting. Oh, oh tuloy, tuloy. Pero nag-pick up ng Mustoys yung uh, depensa ng Ateneo. Started with a forced turnover uh, by uh, Matt Nieto. And then a three-point basket for him in the ensuing play. This is the discipline that Ateneo has come up with once again. Not just for their third straight match here in Season 82, but since uh, Coach Top Baldwin has taken over this uh, Ateneo team. The foul, by the way, was against SJ Belanghel, Ayra Batalier, one of the big bodies wow. of USD. Missed both free throws, but they get the offensive rebound. Again. No, no. Paraiso for three. Boy, they need a three-point basket here. Five seconds remaining in the uh, opening period. Mamuyak has it, chased by Nonoy. And Mamuyak was... Uh, Maybe it was, he was expecting to get a call and then threw the ball up. And so the ball will go back to the Growling Tigers. That's an Ateneo turnover. And this is the first time that USD will be behind after a single quarter. Nonoy from the backcourt. And the third time that Ateneo will be on top. Of third and of the first period. Ateneo still ahead. 5-13-0 run, keeping USD scoreless in the last five minutes. Up 10, 23 to 13. Look at our, at our BDO coaches winning ways, Coach uh, Alden Ayo. Uh, talking to him before the season, he was so excited for so excited for his team because of the youth that's coming in with right. Mark Nonoy, the new names like Ren Zabando, the leadership that CJ Cancino and Ren Subido provides, the uh, hard work that Chabio exhibits, and so you can't blame him for being so optimistic and so excited for their chances this year. Well, I believe Coach Alin Ayo is uh, the best person to ask when we talk about uh, the upside, the learning curve, and the potential that this team, that this USD team will have this year. And uh, they have shown that they have come in prepared. And they have invested a lot of time recruiting talents from all over the country and putting in the system 
that will uh, hopefully enable them to once again contend for a spot in the Final Four. That basket by Mark Donoy stops a five-minute scoring drought and cuts Ateneo's 13-point lead to uh, seven, or 10-point lead to seven. But uh, Jim Mamuyan answers three. back with his own uh, three-point shot, so it's back to a 10-point advantage for the Blue Eagles as we welcome you to the early moments of the second quarter. Nico Alili with Coach Ronnie Maxanok, Franny Reyes, and Makayla Chavez. That's your broadcast team for this Wednesday morning showdown. Ooh. And that will be turnover number eight against the Growling Tigers. And uncharacteristically, uh, UST lapsing into a total of seven errors at the end of the first 10 minutes. And this is a huge part of Ateneo's game plan, disrupt the flow of offense of UST and force them to commit turnovers and win the possession battle against the Growling Tigers. Belangel, Andrade, Mike Nieto, Isaaco, and Mamuyak are on the floor for Ateneo. Nieto to Belangel. Shot clock down to four. Belangel has to fire away. That's good. Another three-point shot for Ateneo. That's their si uh, seventh three-point shot here in the first half, and that was a what of flakes kakaibang move. They shot five of nine from the three ball in the first ten minutes. Over 56%. This after only a total of five three point baskets against De La Salle in 40 minutes. That's going to be a personal Andrade. foul against uh, BJ Andrade. Here's SJ Balangel coming off the bench. Shot clock winding down. Right. Under duress. Surely they uh, worked on their three point shooting prior to today's matchup. Pero napakiklinong turn around na yun. Heading to today's game. But uh, once again, the second unit of the Blue Eagles have accounted for 13 points. While UST, through Mark Donoy, only three points so far scored by UST against one of the best defensive teams in the last two years. Chabio with the drive and he scores. Chabio now with eight points in the ball game. Four of five from the field. Chabio starting out his scoring race, attacking from the trail post spot. And that is the best attacking spot or attack spot for Chabio, especially against taller defenders. Two minutes having gone by here in the second period. William Navarro, soft shot, too soft. And Chabio chalks up another rebound. Mark Donoy bullet pass to Abando. Renz Abando blocked by Kwame and the ball will stay with UST. Well, normally by this time, after several minutes inside the playing court, Abando will be frolicking near the 10-point level. Here is this trail post down here, look nothing from Chabio. And once again, being able to handle and beat the defense of last year's best rim protector, Ange Kwame, the rookie of the year of season 81. No, no. From the corner, that's good. Another three-point shot for Mark Nonoy. Zero of eight against UE from the downtown. Had three three-point baskets against UB. Right now with two made triples. They scored six of USD's eight points here in the second quarter. An offensive foul against the Blue Eagles. Wow. Mark Nonoy has come out here in the second quarter trying to ignite an uprising. Corner three, no problem, and then forcing a defensive stop on the return play. Adrian Wong back on the floor, and Mark Nonoy hurts you in so many, so many ways. ways. Uh -oh. I've seen him play last year in the juniors division for USD. One and done it to it. But previous to his uh, being a part of the mythical six in high school last year, he has been a palarong pambansa standout already at tagaling ito sa Wa Sheng College of uh, in Iloilo, the Russell Westbrook of Iloilo. Adrian Wong for three. Long rebound picked up by SJ Belanghel. Mamuyak thought about it. Mamuyak inside. Mamuyak no go. Probably worried about the presence of Chabio, who blocked him earlier. And that will be a blocking foul near the midcourt by Mamuyak. But a preemptive uh, foul to disallow UST from getting into the fast break lanes. The ball stop has been a constant for Ateneo against Cancino, against Subido. And Nona was able to escape earlier but uh, did not convert. Kasi pag nakapasok sa loob, ang hirap pigilin eh. At nakakapasa sa mga open teammates. Angelo Kwame, number one shot blocker in the UAAP. 
Meantime, here's Wang at the post. Tight advantage over Matt Nieto. And that ball will end up with Wang again, and he missed it. Tap goes to Adrian Wong. Wong is on the move over to Matt Nieto. Matt steps on the brakes, cross-court pass. Mamuya back to Nieto, and now over to Wong on the right side. They go to Mamuyak at the post against Mark Nonoy. Outside the Matt Nieto, shot clock winding down. Navarro, a open shot. Mamuyak, high looper, that's a three. Patience, ball movement, unselfish ways. Ateneo wants to get up by 11. Probably their biggest lead right now against the Growling Tigers. Well, this is the uh, Wednesday early crowd for our uh, UAAP triple hitter. Ateneo versus UST, battle of uh, undefeated teams kicking off this triple hitter. And this is the eighth three-point shot right. for the Blue Eagles in this ball game. Gian Mamuyak with eight points off the bench. Correct. Pudgy Bar, Obar Sasaya, a very happy bench for the Blue Eagles because they're on top 32-21. Rafi Verano will be sitting out this year. Should be back next year. Hopefully with Joel Mendoza. And so far, Ateneo has outshot, outshot uh, UST from the long court. 24 of their first 32 points coming from beyond the arc. This is US, something that UST has to defend and take away or limit even if they are to narrow this 11-point uh, deficit. Subido for three. Yes, sir. That's exactly what the Browning Tigers needed. This will be the fourth three-point basket, or fifth three-point basket for UST. Third in the quarter, first one for Subido in this match. The Eagles still on top, 32-24, as we near the halfway mark of the second period. Missed by Kwame, rebound by Chabio. Cancino spins. Drop pass to Ando. Ando double team. Lots of time to shoot for UST. 10 to shoot. Wang being pressured over to Cancino. Cancino pulls up. Wang with the rebound. Wang with a put back. No go. And that would be a loose ball foul against Chabio. This will be the second personal foul, I believe, of Chabio as well. Let me double check this. The first one. And the first team foul for USD. Steal by Cancino. Three on one break. CJ Cancino the Chabio. And he is fouled and the basket is good. C2 fast break for the USD Growling Tigers. Cancino setting up Chabio perfectly. And the foul is against William Navarro. Here's that fast break. All right. When they get into the open court, they are a very dangerous team. This is where, where they get their energy. And this is also something that uh, they imposed against the fighting Maroons. Forcing UP to commit a total of 16 turnovers, which USD turned into 12 turnover points. And big man Sulamein Chabio also has that ability to get into the open court. 11 in the game for Chabio. 11 of their first 27 coming 
from Chabio. How can you not love Chabio? Ang pag tumakbo as we hit our Gatorade hydration checkpoint. Masipag kumuha ng offensive rebounds. Naka hindi katangkaran pero can match up against the bigger reinforcements of other schools. Andrade for three. He's been shooting well today but that's a miss and a rebound for Cancino. Just a five-point ball game here in the second period. Subido to Cancino. Back to Subido. Shot clock reads 10. What will the Growling Tigers do? Subido to Ando. Ando to Wang. That ball is whizzing around for the Growling Tigers. And Ando will score. Atene was patient to defend every pass and every point of attack. But uh, UST was up to the task, executing the final ball reversal. And Ando was so good against Bright uh, Aquetis defense. Knocks in his first basket. He had 10 versus the Fighting Maroons. Just a three-point ball game here in the second period. Nieto, Wong. Adrian Wong goes right. Adrian Wong, tough move. Chabio over to Ando. And this is an opportunity for the Growling Tigers to tie the game with a three-point shot. Cancino to Ando. Ando, one-hander, too strong. Kwame contesting every shot. Good weak side rebound for Ateneo. And this is a nice scoring run here for USD. 8-0 counter run after Ateneo led at 32-21, six-minute mark of the second quarter. Chuck back down to eight for the Blue Eagles. Kwame nowhere to go outside. Matt Nieto. Nieto to Wong. Adrian Wong for three. Short. Thirteen to three run for the Growling Tigers. Chabio. Ooh. Spins and scores. Jalabi, 100% amazing move for Chabio, and he cuts down Ateneo's lead to just one point. We'll be back in a moment. Well, the uh, USD side of the Big Dome coming to life because of this furious run by the USD Growling Tigers. Chappie O scoring seven points here in the second quarter to uh, really spearhead this uh, USD uprising as we check out our McDonald's instant replay. And even guys like Dave Ando doing uh, great stuff on both ends right. of the floor. Uh, USD increasing the pace on offense. USD more patient. Trying to make Ateneo's defense work until the final pass, until the final set of seconds in the shot clock. Just a precarious one-point lead for Ateneo, and they lose the basketball, and this opens up a big opportunity for uh, USD to uh, grab the lead. Look at the numbers of Chabio. Outscoring and out-rebounding uh, Anj Kwame so far. We also have to like the matchup between Mamuyak and CJ Cancino. Hindi ko nga naman kung ano yung haba nila, saka yung uh, kapayatan, parehan-pareho ng prototype na body. Eh. Meantime, Chabio still has the basketball, sends it over to Abando, and a swipe by Matt Nieto, but the ball will stay with Five USD. Four, 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 and this run of USD is happening with Abando, still uh, shut down by Ateneo's defense. I believe only two or three attempts at the most 
And uh, so far, Abando, who is averaging uh, 17 points per game, and is uh, the first recipient of uh, the Player of the Week award. He's the scoreless. Second, second leading scorer for the Growling Tigers in this tournament. Five seconds to shoot. Oh. And then that's another turnover against UST. This is where uh, Ateneo hurt them. This is also how Ateneo built a 10-point lead at the end of the first quarter. Uh, exploiting those USD turnovers and scoring off those turnovers. Approaching the last two minutes of the first half, Matt Nieto, double team, Kwame, elbowed uh, Abando, that's a good call. An excellent rotation by Abando. How many players will have that uh, courage to stay in front of, uh, of a, uh, a downhill going on Kwame? Straight to the neck, perfect scheme, another defensive stop, USD able to keep in step. Ateneo's defensive excellence and they have kept Ateneo to only 9 points in the first uh, 7 minutes and 40. Look at the number of field goals of Ateneo at uh, dun sa 3 of 10 showing na yan. Eh, lahat yan kung di tayo nagkakamali galing sa 3 point line because Ateneo scored 9 points here in the second quarter. This is for the lead! Yes sir! Rowling Tigers on top 33-32 after that pure goal always Panalo move. Not all about Mark Nonoy, Subido, and Chabio. You have Sherwin Concepcion, you have Dave Ando, you have Renz Abando. And this is BJ Andrade. He misses the three point shot. Rebound snatched away by Cancino. Cancino is still on the move. Cancino to Abando. Abando back to Cancino. Rowling Tigers ahead by one with under two minutes to go in the second quarter. Spin! Sidestep and he is fouled and the entertainment value of Reds Abando is just going up and up and up as we go along in this tournament. Look at the turn. Breaking the double and then the Euro. Mamuyak gamble and he will give up two free throws. So Abando will be going to the line. Try and increase a solitary point uh, cushion or lead for USD. You know, you and I, we've been racking our brains with our combined uh, uh, memories of, you know, five years. of all things UAP five years. as to uh, the player comparison for Renz Abando as he uh, makes the first free throw. And he certainly has the, the athleticism, the leaping ability of a Cyrus Baggio, Samo mo pa si Nino, Kelly. But uh, he is so unique, even my partner, was watched the UAP for the last 60 years. That's five years. <laughs> <laughs> Wala po siyang maisip na accurate player comparison at least as far as USD history is concerned right. oh. for Renz Abando. Rare specimen indeed. 19-3 run generated by USD. Remember the first quarter count was at 23-13 to when Ateneo held a 32-21 lead. Six minutes and ten mark of the second quarter. Since then, Ateneo has not scored, and that's a good five minutes already of floor time, while USD has put in 14 points to now create a three-point cushion. Neto, Isaac Go was not ready for that pass, and that will be an Ateneo turnover. Ateneo has put in eight three-point baskets built around multiple three-point shooters. And now that has uh, evaporated because of USD's better closeouts and better defense on the three-point line and better takeaway on uh, Ateneo's ball reversals and Ateneo's points of attack. Matthew Daves in the ball game for the first time for the Blue Eagles as Sherwin Concepcion on courts. Andrade picks up the long rebound and will wait for friends. Mamuyak, Isaac Go, Andrade, Nieto, and Daves on the floor under a minute remaining in the second period. And the Blue Eagles, only one field goal in the last eight minutes. Isaac go for three. No, sir. Rebound, Cancino. And again, a very good contest and closeout coming from Chabi Yo on Isaac go. Sherwin Concepcion for three. Mamuyak trying to get the rebound away from Chabi Yo. Another chance here for USD. Chabi Yo will score. Yeah, some bully basketball here for Chabi Yo. Grabbing that loose ball and once again turning and spinning to his 15 point. Chabio has been the game changer for UST. 
Give it the last part of the second. Biggest lead of the game for the Grambling Amaha. Tigers. Nine seconds remaining in the second period. Nieto is blocked, but the whistle is blown. And the smaller Nieto going to the post. Yeah, probably thinking one, that they need to bring their offense close to the basket. It was not easy. But he will draw a foul from Cancino, will go to the line for two gift shots. Second personal foul against uh, CJ Cancino. Third team foul against the Growling Tigers with only seven seconds remaining in the second period. Talked about earlier the first time that UST will be behind yeah, yeah. in the first quarter. Ateneo for the third straight game, winning the first quarter. And could be that Ateneo will be down. Yep. Going to the final US half. Steel could end this first half with the lead over the defending champions. That will be the, for the third straight game. But ULS team will have the advantage heading to the final two quarters. And that breaks a six-minute scoring spell for Ateneo. It's Mike Nieto on the bench, and his uh, brother uh, Matt Nieto is on the line. Matt Nieto actually the leading scorer. Correct. For the Blue Eagles here in uh, UAAP 82. And the leading three-point uh, shooter la last year in terms of makes. Tying Paul Desideri with a total of 36 made triples. Isaac go. Long one, no go. And that ends the first half. And this game, as good as advertised, the battle of undefeated teams. And, and it's the UST Growling Tigers, the upstarts, for the, USA the underdogs. Rally. And they're on top, 37, 33, and they've quickened the pace. They like playing fast, and Ateneo has been forced to run along with the Growling Tigers. USD on top, 37, 33.
Back inside the Big Dome. As uh, the USD Growling Tigers are on top 37-33, using a big scoring run in the second period. Our PS Bankable uh, fan of the game, uh, uh, Simple Magkakotse, PS Bank Auto Load, isang tulog lang. Apply now. This is what you love about the UAP. Fans come in all ages to uh, cheer for their favorite players, to cheer for cheer for their uh, favorite teams. Mga pamilya, ang daily commute nyo ay magiging uh, good vibes na. Dagdagan, uh, dadagdagan namin ang plus sa life mong on the go dahil nandito na ang ABS-CBN TV Plus Go. Pwede na kayong manood ng UAP games habang nasa biyahe, sa traffic, or naghihintay ng masasakyan na hindi gumagamit ng data. For more information, visit the ABS-CBN TV Plus Go Facebook page. Uh, show your support for your team. Shop now for official licensed UAP merchandise at www.uapstore.com. And catch all the UAP 82 men's basketball action on I Want. Just download the I Want app or go to iwant.ph slash sports and watch the games live and on replay anytime, anywhere. Really, it's only replay anytime, anywhere. That's the great thing about watching the UAP on I Want. Our halftime score, it's 37-33. The USD Growling Tigers are ahead of the Athenaeum Blue Eagles. We'll be back in a moment. having any inside points in the second quarter. Starter scoring. Dito, pumalo ang USD. Lalong-lalo na, Chabi Yung had 15 of those 27 points from the first five of USD. Jordi Ravenna has not been reinserted into the lineup with except expect more minutes for last year's finals MVP in the next two quarters. Mamuyak, another big game after a career 14-point performance versus De La Salle. Andrade also very unselfish finding open teammates, but it has been Xavi, who has played the biggest role so far, both on offense and on defense for USD, in helping USD build a four-point lead. A look at the hard work uh, paying off for uh, for Xavi, and I tell you, the pace of this game. Uh, mabuti ka condition ka. Ako hinihingal na ako. Eh. Sa kwentuhan condition. <laughs> this uh, USD team really is forcing everyone to catch up uh, and really follow their blistering pace. Uh, here in the UAP. Let's go to Franny Reyes who will tell us what's happening on the Ateneo side of the basketball court. Franny? Well, Ateneo knew that coming into today's game, USC was going to put up a fight. And Miko and Coach Ronnie, they're actually shooting much better today. This is the most threes they've made since the season started. But they did poorly execute their offensive plays in that second quarter, quarter where there were about five minutes where they couldn't make any shots. Now, the Blue Eagles know that Chavio is a problem. Mike Nieto even said in the dugout that they have to stop him. They have to box out and crash those boards. You know, Ateneo is a team that does have championship experience, and it's time that they show USD what that looks like. Back to you guys. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Franny. So this, uh, you know, this Ateneo team, they're not surprised. I mean, this team is not surprised that USD is doing all of these positive things in the first half. And they knew what USD has done over the course of the offseason heading to the first two games of season 82. And uh, USD got the better of them in the second quarter. But this is not yet done. The beauty of uh, the game is that you can make your adjustments heading to the last two quarters. And this is what we expect to see of Ateneo against USD in this upcoming third quarter. Okay, what should we expect from the Growling Tigers in the second half? Let's find out from Makayla Chavez. Makayla? Miko and Coach Ronnie, at this point of time, the USC Growling Tigers promise to stay unstoppable. Should they want to stay undefeated, Coach Alvin Ayo wants them to take control of the ball to stay extra mindful 
on their plays and of course to calculate every shot they make and to keep their confidence alive. Coach Ayo exclaimed, Wag matakot, wag mahiya, everyone must be at their best state. The team still remains positive that they can make history today. In fact, it was in 2015, September 26, to be exact, when UST overpowered the Ateneo Blue Eagles. As to why the Espana Bay squad is more than hungry to earn today's win. And while the hopes are still high, the USC Garland Tigers will take the next half a lot more serious. It's fine to be greedy in this game, and so expect them to be back to you guys. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Makaila. Uh, UST led by, of course, Coach Aldin Ayo. And Aldin Ayo relishes his uh, chess matchups <laughs> with uh, Coach Tab Baldwin. So we'll bring you the second half of the showdown between undefeated teams. USD and Ateneo in a moment. inside the big dome you're watching the uap live on sna and on i want so glad you could join us for our wednesday triple header it is ateneo versus usd as we check out our coho creating beautiful plays chabio has been a big force uh, in this game offense defense right. rebounding he's done it all for the ground tigers uh, you can uh, even say that he has outplayed Ansh Kwame so far in their marquee matchup. But one thing that we also have to point out is that uh, Ateneo was held scoreless for almost six minutes before uh, Nieto hit a free throw to end the quarter. 32-21, six-minute mark. Suddenly, the tide changed. ST started playing faster. But uh, we also have to highlight the fact that their defense improved two notches higher. As a result, Ateneo could not find this group once again from on the arc and the uh, usd was so stingy in giving up any basket on the uh, restricted area as well so let's see what adjustments uh, both teams will make yo no maganda dyan dahil kanina uh, atene was able to establish a double digit lead right now they lost that advantage usd uh, by a uh, two possession count pero hindi naman dito nagtatapos eh but this will be our uh, launch pad for uh, the start of this half Starting the second half for the Blue Eagles, Matt Nieto, William Navarro, third year Ravenna, who uh, picked up two personal fouls in the first half. That's a three-point shot for Adrian Wong. So a good start here for the Blue Eagles, and Angelo Kwame will complete their uh, unit on the floor. The Growling Tigers are on top by one. They have Renzo Subido, Zach Wang, Sherwin Concepcion, Chabio, and CJ Cancino. Subido. Inside Concepcion, touch pass to Chabio. Chabio was unstoppable in the second quarter, and he continues to be a menace uh, inside the paint. He's a big man who can play the perimeter, has a good handle, good team with moves. Probably one thing that Ateneo would like to do better is get, once again, the quality of shots based on how USD is defending them. Once again, Subido and Mark Donoy doing an incredible job keeping in step with the likes of uh, Matt Nieto. And of course, uh, Sila Belangel, Sila Gian Mamuyak, even Tyler Tio for that matter. By the way, Chabio is on the line because of the third personal Yo, foul against uh, Ange Kwame. Who stays inside the ball game, Sa rather inside the playing court, even saddled with three personal fouls. Navarro. Handoff 
30 Ravenna with a runner. Oh, that goes in and 30 Ravenna with uh, eight points in the ball game. Right, eclipsing a six point total against uh, De La Salle. Eight points per game for 30 Ravenna so far in two games. 10 points scored against Adamson. Tied ball game at 38 in the early moments of the third quarter. Shabio against Kwame. Remember, Kwame with three personal fouls. Rebound ends up with 30 Ravenna. Ravenna to Navarro. Navarro will finish. Ateneo had zero fast break points in second quarter. In the second quarter, Ateneo had two fast break points in the first quarter. USD's transition defense rarely giving up that fast break look. Ateneo scores its first two courtesy of Will Navarro. Subido to uh, Zach Wang. Shot clock down to eight. Zach Wang pulling up. Kwame with the rebound. Blue Eagles on top by two, and they turn the ball over. Browning Tigers with the numbers here. Cancino to Concepcion off the glass. No! And then Chabio saves it to the wrong guy. Adrian Wong steps on the brakes. Matt Nieto finds Navarro, who finds Ravenna. Ravenna for three. That's good. Manolite Vision player, uh, William Navarro, locating uh, 30 Ravenna. And that will open up a five-point advantage for the Blue Eagles. And 30 Ravenna will have a total of five third-quarter points. Ateneo will have a lead of five after going to the third quarter down by four. Three-pointer is good CJ for CJ Cancino. And Cancino with four points. Cutting down that Ateneo lead to two. First field goal of USD here in the quarter. And Nieto for three off the mark. And the ball is picked up by 30 Ravenna. Wong for three. Rebound, Cancino. Seven rebounds for CJ Cancino in the ball game. Again, Nieto cutting the path of Cancino. The ball stop is always essential against USD's uh, wing attackers, especially after a defensive stop. This will be 10 three point baskets right now for Ateneo. 30 Ravenna with a total of 11 points, built around three triples. And that inside incursion earlier, Ateneo up by two. There's a three-point shot by Taxino, but he uh, picks up his third personal foul. Aira Batalier uh, checks in the ball game, as well as Brent Paraiso. Incidentally, uh, teammate, that was the first field goal converted by CJ Cancino. That triple scored one point in the first two quarters. Pat Magdenberg is now in the ball game for the first time for Ateneo. Navarro inside, Navarro no go, rebound by uh, Brent Paraiso. Two point lead for Ateneo as we cross the seven minute mark of the third period. Hansino on the move. That was intended for Chabio, it ends up with 30 Ravenna. Ravenna is on the move, he goes behind the back and that's going to be a holding foul against Brent Paraiso. Madenburg, Madenburg will be tasked to contain Chabio. Coach Tab Baldwin electing to uh, give Tongsi uh, Ansh Kwame a slight rest because of three personal fouls. Outstanding showing so far for uh, 30 Ravenna. Uh, this has been his best showing so far out of the three games for Ateneo. 16 points combined in the first two wins. Eight points per game. Nearly eight rebounds likewise for last year's finals MVP, the two-time UAP champion, the two-time Ethical 5 awardee, Thirdy Ravenna. Locates Matt Nieto for three, too strong. Rebound, Chabio. Ten rebounds in the ball game for USD's big man. Subito on the move, Subito to Chabio for two. Boys and points in the paint. Chabio has a lot of them. And an excellent pass coming from uh, Renzo Subido. And this is the part of Renzo uh, so Subido's game that has really come alive. The blow by, and then sucking the last line defender, freeing up Chabio from uh, Patrick Maddenberg's defense. Chabio has knocked in 19 points. 19 of USD's 44 points, USD back ahead by one. 
foul, by the way. Uh, that was the first personal foul on Magdenberg earlier. This time, uh, it might be a warning here on Aira Batallier. As, Ateneo, as uh, William Navarro was trying to uh, release the inbound, inbound pass. USD uh, allowed, rather, uh, USD's defense gave up a total of 82 points per match last year. And this season, they are a much better defensive unit. And they're keeping in step against uh, the top defensive team the last two years in Ateneo. Navarro with a wow. getaway. Yeah, Even over the uh, outstretched arms of uh, Chabio with that Domino's pizza. What a delivery play. So Rafi Verano this year, more minutes for Will Navarro. And has been up to the task for Ateneo. Navarro so far with a total of six points. Apat, galing sa third quarter. Another rebound for Chabio, but the ball is uh, taken away by uh, William Navarro. Navarro to Wong. Wong is bumped. And that basket by Magdenberg will not count. The foul is against Mark Nonoy. First personal foul for Mark Nonoy. This is a small to big ball screen. No one showing up. Navarro finding the driving lane. Excellent uh, assist. Screen assists coming from uh, Mike Nieto. Rather, Matt Nieto. And here's a three point shot by 30. Can't get the bounce. Good tap by the Growling Tigers. Nonoy has the basketball. Nonoy! Burst of speed, but the uh, interception there by 30 Ravenna. And 30 Ravenna goes coast to coast and will give Ateneo a three point lead. Six points in the first quarter, built around two made three point baskets. Ferdinand Rivera with a takeaway and seven points. Here in the third, Ateneo up by three. We're nearing the halfway mark of the third quarter. Close ball game so far between the two undefeated teams and Chabio with nowhere to go outside. Mark Donoy can't hit the three, rebound Ravenna. Good lockout by Magdenberg using the full stretch and heft of that quad body. And we're, we've hit our Gatorade hydration checkpoint with the Blue Eagles on top, 47-44. Tight pass to Navarro and offensive foul against William Navarro. Could have gone either way. Subido showing us he's ready to take the biggest contact, stopping that, defense, that offensive play. And third personal foul against Navarro will be back with Ateneo ahead, Let's uh, check out our video coaches' uh, winning ways. And Coach Tab Baldwin certainly is very familiar with winning ways after uh, leading the Blue Eagles to back-to-back uh, -to -back championships. But uh, currently, today, on this uh, Wednesday morning, they are facing a very, very big challenge. Angelo Kwame, only two points so far, right He's now in Foul trouble with yes, uh, more fouls than uh, points scored. That's right, which does not happen very often, but All really right. is very indicative of the strength and the feistiness of this Correct. UST team. And indicative on uh, how well Chavi has also outplayed yep. Ange Kwame. Some bases ko lang nakitang ganito si Ange Kwame, and that was his debut against Adamson last year in the very first match uh, against the Falcons. But after that, he was unstoppable almost. 
Chapio against the very wide body of Magdenburg. Ooh. And Chapio still connects it. He has 21 points. He was stopped dead on his tracks as he crossed that uh, free throw line, but uh, found a way to get that ball inside the hoop. Oh, nice, uh, nice swipe by Mark Nonoy. And Chabio will finish the play. Chabio! Yamahami on number one move for Chabio with 23 points, and the lead is back with UST. Magdenburg, Nieto to Ravenna. 30 Ravenna for three, short. And somebody pushed off uh, Chabio. That will be Patrick Maddenberg trying to battle well, uh, number 15, Chabio. But what Patrick about Maddenberg. this takeaway by Mark Nonoy, forcing Ateneo to yes, find turnovers, and, and then Mark the Nonoy. forward pass. And then the highlight reel. Those are the three new guys. Right. The three new stars. Correct. It started with Nonoy, uh -huh. to Abando, to Chabio. Without the basketball touching the hard court. 1.8 for USD. They were outscored earlier, 14-7, before this uh, Chabio explosion of four straight points. Chabio double team, Donoy. He fires a three, high looper, no go. A rebound, 30 Ravenna. Blue Eagles down by one, with under four minutes remaining in the third quarter. Magdenburg, he fires a three. In and out, rebound by Brent Paraiso. Paraiso. Hand off Abando. Abando could not pull the trigger. Abando steal by uh, 30 Ravenna. Anytime somebody spins, there's always someone to help out for that weak side takeaway for Ateneo. Isaac go looking for Ravenna. Ravenna on the left side. Shot clock down to 10. Blue Eagles down by one point. Shot clock down to five. Ravenna step back off the glass, no go. Rebound, Mark Nonoy. Nonoy steps on the gas like he always does. And that will be a blocking foul against SJ Balanghel. And that's a from 0 to 60 acceleration <laughs> in 10 <laughs> heat. I saw him to my right. He was faster before I turned to my left. And not, if not for that foul given up by Balanghel, tuloy tuloy yun. Abuti na lang walang speed limit. Dito sa UAP. Baka next year, meron na. <laughs> Mark Nonoy. You know, he runs so fast. Oh. He, might, he might break the space-time continuum. Might end up in season 83. Grabe, no? Parang uh, the bullet reincarnated. Yeah, we were talking about uh, players during your time who were as fast as Mark Nonoy. The best Parang uh, player you can come up with was Dean Dupomare in, Dupomare, in, in, yes. uh, in the 1980s for the Green Archer. Correct. Probably uh, Johnny Abariantos. In the 90s. Uh -huh, right, correct. For FEU. Nabot ko na yun eh. <laughs> Pwede ko naman kung next year na inabot mo yun. As a spectator. Nagpapaliwanag lang. <laughs> <laughs> Approaching the last two minutes of the third quarter, Dirty Ravenna goes behind the back. He's being hounded by this pesky USD defense. Ravenna inside. Over to Magdenburg for two. Chalabi, 100%. Amazing move. Ravenna uh, starting that Ooh. play, but Red Zabando joins three. the scoring column here with a three point shot. How many first year players will have the confidence to catch and shoot from the three ball on a one and three situation? Mike Nieto, he's wide open. He fires away off to the right. Belang Hill, he fires away off uh, to the left, and that ball ends up with Ooh. Aira Batallier, and he is fouled by Magdenburg. Those are two very wide bodies going against well, each other as we check out our McDonald's down. instant replay. Red Zabando, the pride of La Union, who idolizes Ray Allen, Allen, and he shoots like Ray Bruce Allen Bruce hitting the three. Trying to help out USD stay perfect. Well, Ateneo also looking to be unscathed. Both teams, the only undefeated school so far after three play dates. And uh, Ateneo took the lead earlier at 47-44 on a 14-7 uh, opening of the third. And then from that time, USD has scored eight points. Ateneo only a couple of points. And most of those points came from uh, Chabio. And then that uh, delivery from the three ball of Renz. Abando, 
And uh, I believe that was the first field goal, likewise, of Abando. That was. That was. For a team that but has... He's, but he's had almost spectacular highlights. Hindi lang na shoot. At saka alam mo, kahit hindi siya nakakascore, hindi siya nagpipilit. Because, because, he can, siya. because he does other things for Correct. this team. Oh. Still a three-point ball game in favor of the Growling Tigers with under two minutes remaining in the third quarter. And that will be a bump against uh, Mark Nonoy. One advantage that Nonoy brings in his first year for UST is his body is already ready yep. for the varsity level. At saka sa kangpa. Kaya naalala ko si Olsen na sa LA. Oh, sandali. Teka muna. Napanggit ko na. Napanood ko kasi si Olsen. Kailangan ko itanong ha. Napanood ko. Pagsakang ka ba, is that an advantage in basketball? Yes. Why is that an advantage? Una-una yung balance. Pangalawa, eh, pagpigi ka, sumasapit eh. Pagsakang ka, sige lang. Galop lang ng galop. Time naman ikaw ay isang legend. One of the greatest players to ever play this game. Maniniwa na ako. I believe. Napanood ko kasi si Olsen eh. By the way, Pat Magdenberg is having problems with his foul situation as Ando fires and he misses. Magdenberg with four personal fouls. But he's still on the floor. Alam mo, teammate, there are those who are so quick with the basketball and those who are super quick without the ball. Pero siya pareho eh. Magdenberg for three. So that's his second attempt and his second miss. By the way, Tyler Tio making his first appearance of the ball game. Paraiso. Ando. Ando fires. And oh, oh. it's Abando with a rebound Rex and an instant Abando. putback. Uh, really displaying his crazy athleticism. And that is what makes him a difficult matchup. His height, his length, and his athleticism. Rotation and was a, bad, a bad second late and Maddenberg. Brings his offense closer to the basket. Four off the bench for Maddenberg. Ateneo still behind by three. With under a minute remaining in the third period. Wang. Nonoy. Shot clock down to nine. Paraiso against Tyler Tio. And a swipe and again, by Delang Hill. Anytime you turn, anytime the angle is cut, automatic help comes. Second takeaway of that kind for the Blue Eagles here in the quarter. Magdenberg inside, Magdenberg for two. Second unit scoring is always critical. This is one main strength that USD has imposed on its first two opponents. And Magdenberg is a nice weapon from the second unit for Ateneo. Still a one-point lead for the Growling Tigers with 20 seconds remaining in the third period. Paraiso on the right side. Nonoy against Belanghel. Shot clock down to five. Nonoy pulls up. Top shot. In the nick of time, oh, fearless oh, move once again coming from Nonoy. Nine points for this super rookie. Westy up still by three. One second to go, and Tyler Dio could not uh, connect. And at the end of the third quarter, and the, the USD Growling Tigers are still ahead. 56-53 in this battle of undefeated teams in the UAAP. inside the big dome for the start of our Wednesday doubleheader and what a start it has been battle of undefeated teams it has not disappointed both teams going on scoring runs both teams with players with big performances and that's why we have a 56 53 game in favor of UST heading into the payoff period Miko Alili with 
Coach Ronnie Magsanok, Franny Reyes, and Makayla Chavez. And Coach Ronnie, what are you looking for in the early moments of this critical and fourth quarter? The for Ateneo to establish its defensive uh, tenacity against USD's flourishing offense. USD only scored 13 points in the first quarter. They have outscored Ateneo in the middle Four quarters, 43-30. Four. to 30, Although Ateneo won the third quarter by one point, USD had a big scoring uh, run. Oh! Curtis of Chapio and Abando. Elio Perez Abando! Are you, you kidding? Oh! Well, I wow. think that is within the highlight thrill of Richie Rivero. Probably uh, even more electrifying because that came from a half-court set. Wow, suddenly he has nine points after being held scoreless in the first ten minutes. Kwame. Mamuyak, Mamuyak for three. No go. Subido has the basketball. Abando is on the right side. Subido drives. Subido almost, but not quite. Anj Kwame is back in harness. Three fouls and all. Could have been the biggest lead of USD had uh, Subido converted. That attempted home run. And finally, somebody gives up the foul. So we can see that Aliyu come again. Here's our McDonald's instant replay. <laughs> Brent Paraiso launches the pass. Wow. Renz Abando says, I will catch it and I will slam it home. Just throw it up there. Abando had five of his nine points in the third quarter. Mamuya for three. Off the mark. And that ball ends up with Brent Paraiso. Five-point ball game in favor of the Growling Tigers. Chabio outside. Paraiso ball fake. Paraiso. Abando from the corner. Short. That was blocked by Kwame. Mike Nieto. To Mamuyak. Mamuyak to Navarro. Navarro for three. So multiple misses now from Rainbow Country from the Blue Eagles. Overall, Ateneo has outshot out uh, USD from beyond the arc. They have a total of, uh, I believe, over 10 Brent major Paraiso. baskets. A nice floater by uh, Brent Paraiso. And look out, the Growling Tigers are ahead. 60-53, their biggest lead of the ball game. Tamaka, pito. Kanina, palima-lima. Pressure now on the Blue Eagles. Tyler Tio to Mike Nieto for three. It rattles out. Paraiso has it. Eight minutes remaining in the fourth and final quarter. Turnover against the Growling Tigers, and Paraiso is hurt. Mamuyak to Navarro. Navarro mid range is good. Well done, Navarro. This will be the first field goal of Ateneo here in the quarter versus four points for USD. Turnover leading to a basket on the uh, return play. Gets this lead down to five. And whistle is blown by uh, referee uh, Record Buaron. There's a holding foul against holding foul Ateneo. This first one on the Blue Eagles. Tyler Dio committing his first one. personal foul and the first team foul against Ateneo. Subido. Ando, Ando loves that shot, the one-hander. Another good close-up coming from Kwame and a chance for him to score. Oh, and Kwame does. finishes the play. Kwame! PS Bankable assist from Tyler Tio. Para PS Bank personal loan na maasahan. Apply online, no collateral. That's the first basket of Ange Kwame dating back to the first quarter. He has lost the first three quarters to Chabio, but a chance for him to overcome and lead Ateneo to this uh, comeback uh, victory against USD. From high of seven, this is a 4-0 counter run for Ateneo to uh, bring down USD lead by one possession advantage. Excellent. Yep. Forward pass. And a finish by Ange Kwame. Nanganganak ang mga slam dunks dito. Ah. You know, the pace is so fast. I'm burning calories covering this game. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> As uh, Matt Nieto fires a three over Chabio. Kwame, rebound, no. Tip it, no. Again, no. Another one, no. But he will take two free throws. Yes. Yes. He will go to the line for two free throws. Going to the line was something that uh, Atene was not able to do in the third quarter. They were not able to go to the free throw line at once while USD went to the line seven times in the previous quarter, hitting three free throws. Out of seven for 42%. You know, 
uh, people watching this game, so yung morning joggers crowd dito sa Araneta, those watching us on SNA, on I1, and the rest of the UAP, they're also watching right now because they want to see what UST can do right. to this Ateneo team. And if UST pulls off this victory, sure, it really changes the mindset about what might happen in this tournament. We will make them legit, not just Final Four contenders, but legitimate uh, title contenders. Because they're up against a team which lost only twice last year and wrote to defending their uh, Season 80 championship. And they're also up against a team which has not lost this season. At pareho sila ng na 2 0 ang simula dito sa season 82. That's a foul in the backcourt by Gian Mamuyak. His Back third personal. Uh, alam mo, ang hindi natin nakikita sa system ni Coach Ayo this year for UST is yung run and jump, yung mayhem defense. They're playing individual defense at a very high level. And uh, mabigat yung interior defender nila, in Chabio, Ando, and even Sherwin Concepcion and Batillier for that matter. That's a solid absolutely solid front, front line. line right a good battle by uh, Kwame and this allowing Chavio from uh, getting to his sweet spot which is uh, about the mid post area because I, I don't know if people can appreciate the size difference between Chavio and Kwame and, and honestly Chavio against most right. of the centers in this league Pang, uh, power forward yung height Chavio pwede nga small forward Abando fires a three too strong, a rebound, picked up by Mamuyak. Mamuyak is on the move, Mamuyak all alone. That completes a 7-0 counter for Ateneo, down by 7. Largest seed of UST, Ateneo tying the count at 60. This is the uh, sixth deadlock of this ball game as we near the sixth minute mark of the fourth and final quarter. Abando against Mamuyak. Abando hang time. And Chabio with a putback. Jalabi 100%. Amazing move for Chabio. Above the rim. Above the rim highlight place. We're seeing time and again. Both for Ateneo and UST. 25 points for Chabio. The Woo. lead is back with UST. 30 Ravenna gets away. No. Tip it. No. It will be last touch on Chabio. Furious action right. here in the fourth quarter. Well, the pace is just like the first quarter. Abando with a little wet and the help side defense coming from 30. Big side cleanup by Chabio. Well, you have to like the way Anshuan has come out here in the fourth quarter. More aggressive, more aggression with defense, this defense, and more inside presence on offense as well. Will Navarro for three. Tepe goes in Anshuan. for uh, Anshuan. And that ties the game at 62. Kwame with only two points heading to the fourth. Now with five here in the final quarter. And he has scored five of Ateneo's uh, nine points here in the payoff quarter. Abando hounded by uh, Mamuyak. And steal by Kwame. Kwame is on the move. Kwame all the way for oh, two. And this is why Mamuyak is in the game. Let's try and hound Abando. Ateneo on top by two as we hit our Gatorade hydration checkpoint. And a foul here on uh, the Blue Eagles. That's a good escape act coming from uh, Subido. This was that last uh, putback coming from uh, Hanchuago. Working hard, pushing Chabio underneath the rim. Bringing the upper hand and then last. Tip in. Iba na yung activity dito ni Hanchuago. By the way, Sherwin Concepcion is on the line because of the third personal foul against uh, 30 Ravenna. Sherwin Concepcion had an outstanding ball game in that win versus UE. And then it was the turn of Dave Ando to be able to help out Chavio succeed against Bright Aquet, the rest of the fighting Maroons. And Sherwin Concepcion is uh, quite the uh, confident shooter for the Growling Tigers. And he confidently ties this game at 64. Navarro, Matt Nieto, Kwame, Ravenna, and Mabuya were on the floor for the Blue Eagles. Matt Nieto for three. That three-point shot is not, uh, not dropping for the Blue Eagles here in the fourth quarter. Well, they've hit ten triples heading into the fourth. Nearly half of their total attempts coming from beyond the arc. Cancino joins 
Abando, Concepcion, Chavio, and the veteran point guard, Renzo Subido. And Mamuyak once again with that deflection, disrupting the flow of that uh, Petro line exchange. He, he lost Abando on the switch, but still was quick enough and long enough to defuse that uh, last offensive attack by USD. Chuck lock down to five. Abando, 4 3. A rebound by uh, 30 Ravenna. Approaching the last four minutes of the ball game. Nieto. Kwame. Lots of time to shoot. Mamuyak on the drive. Mamuyak blocked by Chabio. And it will be last touch on the Growling Tigers. These are superior ring protectors. Active on the weak side. And omnipresent. Coming in for Sherwood. Other unit for USD. Kwame. Six to shoot. Ravenna now has it. Look at the switch. Shooting over Chabio. And he missed it. And that'll be last wow. touch on Kwame. Excellent defensive stand by Cancino. After Chabio switch over to 30 Ravenna. And consider this allowed Hans Kwame from scoring seven more or two more points out of the seven point output that he has scored in. Dito sa labing isang puntos ng Ateneo here in the final quarter. 11 18 here in the fourth quarter in terms of quarter scoring in favor of Ateneo. Mark Donoy to Subido for three. Looks good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It up, Renzo Subido pushes USD ahead 67 64. But 30 Ravenna answers back. Whoop, wait a minute. There's there's a USD player down on the other side. That should be Mark Nonoy after the penetration and a nice find. Resulted into a three ball by uh, Subido. This was the last extra pass. Uh, natamaan sa ulo. Then on the return play with Ateneo, having a five and four situation. They're able to get to the basket and uh, no, no, it looks okay. Score. I mean, may have gotten uh, hit in the face, but he looks okay. That's one strong young man. Very strong. He's a very strong and, and very, very fast and very good <laughs> young man. And uh, I don't think uh, it will take a lot uh, for something to take him out of the game. But I think Coach Aldinayo just wants to make sure. So Mark Nonoy will. Uh, Take a breather. And so, uh, Brent Paraiso will join Subido, Cancino, Wang, and Chabio. Paraiso steps on the brakes. Precarious oh. one-point lead for the Growling Tigers and an offensive foul here against Renzo Subido. The two veteran guards going at it. Neto extracting that offensive foul. This was the blow-by-move by Nonoy against... Uh, Matt Nieto. That is not an easy pass to make because normally when you penetrate that way, you expect the shooter to be in the corner. Time to recover for Mark Donoy. Time to clear the cobwebs after and that There's the hit. collision between Subido uh -oh. and uh, Matt Nieto, and Subido caught or charged with the offensive foul. And let's see if this will be a costly turnover or a costly offensive foul. Against Subido, in case Ateneo converts on the return play. Here's Ravenna at the post. And a Ooh, tip in for Ash uh, Kwame. Ash Kwame coming to life oh, yes. here in the fourth quarter. And the lead is back with the Blue Eagles, 68-67. 15 in the quarter for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Nine coming from Kwame. Time remaining, 2 minutes and 53 seconds. I will update the time as we have a uh, clock issue on your screens. It's 2.47 remaining. In the fourth quarter, Cancino drives. Kwame has it. Two and 40 remaining in the fourth quarter. So Matt Nieto will slow down the pace here with the Blue Eagles on top by one. Two and 30 remaining in the fourth period. You can see the shot clock on your screens. Nine to shoot for the Blue Eagles as we approach the last two minutes of the fourth quarter. Kwame has it to Ravenna. Shot clock down to two. Ravenna for three. And the ball ends up with, it's up for grabs. It's en it ends up with Zach Wang with 2 and 10 remaining in the fourth quarter. Growling Tigers down by one. 
Subito fakes, Subito fires, no! And a ball will end up with 30 Ravenna as we enter Let's the last two minutes. PS Bank, last two minutes. PS Bank Pasen by a mobile. Ang padalamo kasha gad in minutes. I will keep updating the time. One minute and 49 remaining here in the fourth. Ravenna is open, Ooh. but he throws the ball away. Inadvertent contact by Paraiso and Ravenna forces Ravenna to lose his balance. Cancino, no! And Ravenna has it. One minute and 34 remaining in the fourth and final quarter. Two big defensive stops for the Blue Eagles, disallowing UST from regaining the lead. A minute and 24 to go. Ten to shoot for the Blue Eagles. Mamuyak wide open for three short. And a rebound for Chabio. One minute and 13 remaining in the fourth quarter. The Tremendous time is back pace. on your screens. Rabio pace. Growling Tigers down by one. Subido, emergency pass. Paraiso for three. A rebound, 30 Ravenna. Three straight defensive stops for Ateneo. Ravenna with three defensive rebounds likewise for the Blue Eagles. Under a minute remaining in the fourth quarter. 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. One point lead for the Blue Eagles. Nine to shoot. Nieto, Ravenna for three off to the right. Rebound, Cancino. 40 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Four straight misses for Ateneo. Three straight on the flip side for UST. Score still pegged at 68-67 for Ateneo. Sobido to Chabio. Chabio. He fires. Blocked by Kwame. Defensive stop by the Blue Eagles protecting their one-point lead. And UST needs to give up a foul. Mamoyak has it. And there's the foul given up by CJ Cancino. I was about to say, not only has Anj Kwame outscored Chabio here in the fourth, he has also stopped the production of Chabio, who poured in 23 points in the first two quarters, but only two points here in the final fourth. In fact, here in the fourth, Anj Kwame has outscored Chabio 9-2. to two. That's why he has been able to lift Ateneo to a 15-point output. Versus only 11 for UST here in the final fourth. How can you be so calm? Again. Papa Ronnie, how can you be so calm? The players are going back and four teams are going up and down. And... Because. <laughs> because I'm so impressed with the kind of tempo that I've seen. There seems to be a discussion here as oh. to the kind of foul. Sportsman foul on CJ Cancino. Yeah, because of the way he fouled. Uh, Not going for the ball, yes. maybe? That will be very costly for yeah. UST. And CJ Cancino, understandably, very, very frustrated with that call. He felt he was just giving a duty right. foul to stop the clock. Mark Dora coming in for Red Paraiso. Ayurama Nagir for Zach Watt. You might give Oops. our fans some insight here as Mamuyak misses the free throw. When you embrace a player as you foul, uh -oh. there's a tendency that you might be called for okay. a sports You have to go foul. for the basketball. At hindi over aggressive yung uh, pagpalumo. O kailangan you make a uh, play with the basketball. Mamoya. Oh. No go! Uncharacteristic for Jian Mamoya to miss two free throws. Ateneo having the chance to put the game away instead. They still have the ball. They're on top by one with 14 seconds remaining. Back in a moment.
back inside the big dome. Uh, this was the situation earlier. We're showing you the unsportsmanlike foul called on CJ Cancino. Uh, perhaps not uh, going for the ball. Instead, trying to embrace Gian Mamuya. But that call has been made. And uh, two shots has been missed from the line by Gian Mamuya. Shot clock and game clock almost identical. But Ateneo ahead by one. Both teams missing their last four uh, attempts. But Ateneo, tandaan natin, lamang ng isa at 68-67. Louis goes on the floor, Ravenna, Kwame, Matt Nieto, uh, Gian uh, Mamuyak, and SJ Belanghel. There's Matt Nieto, Ravenna will wait for someone to foul him, and uh, Chabio quickly gives up the foul to stop the clock at 11.6 seconds. Before the fourth quarter, Ateneo went to the line only two times for the entire match. Compared to USD, 16 uh, attempts from the line at 7 of 16, Ateneo. For the fourth quarter, only one out of two from the free throw line. They missed their last two, but 30 will hit his first free throw with under 12 seconds left. And Ateneo now with a two point lead. Oh, whatever happens here, USD will still have a chance. Correct. And he makes the second free throw. And I believe uh, Ateneo still. That's a foul to give. Give it the fourth and final Eleven point six seconds to go. Growling Tigers down by three. So Coach Aldenayo growing up, a potentially game time play perhaps with 11.6 seconds. But there is that uh, uh, team foul situation that Ateneo Correct. could exploit. Right, they can, give up early, they, can give, they can give it up early or wait for USD to at least go for the first pass and then burn a little bit of that uh, game clock. But one thing that USD has done throughout uh, their first two wins is to execute well on after a timeout plays. So if there's some, a team that can uh, be able to deflate that excellence, it has to be the Blue Eagles. Cancino, Subido, Abando, Chabio, and Batallero on the floor. Batallero will probably look for a three-point shooter here. Cancino, he fires a three. He was challenged, almost makes it. And that's wow. a foul given up on uh, Matt Nieto. That was a tough shot, and it almost went in. No for touch. CJ Cancino. No touch for Chabio. No look for Abando. Instead, it was that off balance three taken by Chabio against one of the longest perimeter defenders, or lengthiest perimeter defenders for uh, the Blue Eagles. And that's the specialty of the house for Gian Mamuya. Defending, contesting. Under four seconds left. Still, uh, USD with a chance here with 3.9 seconds. And Atene has one foul to give, remember. <laughs> 71-67, Blue Eagles with a four-point advantage. With 3.9 seconds Robin remaining, Lynch. we'll be back in a moment.
3.9 seconds remaining in the fourth and final quarter in this battle of undefeated teams. The Growling Tigers are down by four points. And what are their options here, Coach Ronnie? Kanina, they tried to go for a quick two. Ended up with uh, a three ball that went uh, nowhere. Right now, USD needs to take a quick three. Hopefully convert early and uh, hope that Ateneo may say violation or turnover. They're looking for Subido. Subido on the right side. Subido for three. And it goes in, but Red time runs Subido. out. And this game did not disappoint. Coach Tab said it would be a titanic game, and it certainly was. Uh, USD giving Ateneo all it could handle all the way to the very end. Well, the score stood at 68-67. Both teams had five possessions, possessions each, or four possessions each. And every possession was, was stopped by either Ateneo or USD. But in the end, Ateneo had that one-point lead. And in the final possession, last two possessions, even if USD converted that uh, last three-point basket, in case it counts, Yung Huling play that had Cancino taking that three-point shot was stopped by Jen Mamuyak. Ateneo's defense was huge in the last quarter when the three-point shooting evaporated and was defended. They had their defense to rely on. And, so and they three. kept USD 20 points lower the than their 90 points scoring forward. average, which USD imposed Tigers. in its first two wins against UE win. and the UP Fighting Maroons. So that three point basket by Renzo Subito counts very clearly, but will not be enough as the Blue Eagles escape. I use the right word, right? Correct. Escape with a one point win over these ferocious Tigers 71 uh, 70. This was uh, a game that could have gone either way. As I said, multiple chances for USD to gain the win, but eventually Ateneo's defense held forth in those last four possessions, or five straight possessions for USD. We'll be back to explain how Ateneo won this game in a moment.